Welcome back. Today we're talking about Norway and what does that mean for JW.org? It means more lawyers, more costly lawyers. You see, when you're fighting the government, uh, the government of a country, what are you fighting? Who are you fighting against? In fact, we, we talked about this in our last video in the USA. To have these top attorneys that can fight governments is costing in the neighborhood of thousands of dollars per hour. So you could imagine uh, securing a whole law firm like they're doing in Pennsylvania and Norway to fight the government. Well, let's take a look and see what's happening, see how well that's going and see who they really are fighting. Are they really fighting just the governments? Well, stay tuned and uh, hopefully we'll have some answers to some of them questions. So let's look at JW.org and see, are they really fighting the governments or is this just all fake news? Well, here it is. We have another exciting update regarding freedom of worship. As Jesus foretold at Matthew 10, 22, we face much opposition. Jesus said, and you will be hated by all people on account of my name. To assist Jehovah's people, we have recently established the Freedom of Worship Office at the Central Europe Branch. This headquarters department will coordinate our efforts to defend our worship in Europe. Now, you might be wondering, the work has been established throughout Europe for many years, so is this really needed? Yes, it is. For example, recently the government of Norway decided that Jehovah's Witnesses would no longer receive certain state benefits that are provided to all registered religions. Here to explain more about this is Brother Jürgen Pedersen. The authorities in Norway have threatened to remove our legal registration because of our scriptural beliefs and practices regarding disfellowshipping. In the future, various governments will challenge our freedom of worship. They may pressure us to change our scriptural beliefs, but we're certainly not going to do that. 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 So when we think of Norway and we think of what's going on in Norway, well, there it is, a governing body member. Even though he's deleted now, he's a governing body member that this is how they talked about Norway. That, that statement has never been retracted. In fact, when I go on to their website, this is what I find. Okay, so we're on their website, uh, jw.org. We plugged in Norway and up comes this January 11th, 2023 bulletin. And it shows a Norwegian court. Uh, it says Norwegian court grants Jehovah's Witnesses a request to suspend deregistration. So you see the twist in words, folks? It looks like the courts are working with them and they're going to get this grant to you know to get this all put put to rest and that's what you'd kind of you know if you're a jehovah's witness reading this stuff and then they show you know how they did all this work and how this is a big problem getting married because now they you know can't marry each other but really they're losing money is what this is all about they don't talk about that here you know, it just talks about, uh, you know, how hard it is on them. But it really isn't hard on them uh, as far as that goes. Now, uh, let's move over to another piece of information on this and see what we find out. Now, here's a gentleman that's involved in, the, uh, in this particular court case in Norway, Jan Frode Nilsson. And uh, this is his Twitter account. Uh, we follow him, and Jan Frode Nielsen, he, he's actually going to court. He's in the courtroom. Uh, this is first-hand information. So he says, third loss for Watchtower in their fight, uh, or uh, their fight for a temporary injunction to stay registered in Norway while the main dispute gets handled for years to come. 
and the Norwegian Supreme Court refused their appeal, Watchtower lost on all three levels of the Norwegian court. So that's uh, what we see. Now, Jan, uh, Jan Freud Nielsen also says this. He says, this also means that when the main case starts, Jehovah's Witnesses will already have been deregistered in Norway for almost a year. Their claim that their religious freedom has been ruined will be hard to take serious. JWs are perfectly fine in Norway without the registration. And he says, notice that the only thing mentioned from this on JW org was their premature win from before the state was even heard when they got a short injunction. No mention at all about their three losses following that on their website. What does that tell you about their honesty? Uh, that's what I would question. And he goes on, he says, I'll be back in court testifying in January. This time I'll bring several of my XJW friends. Bring it on, Watchtower. We've beat you in court twice. We will beat you again. And Ron Pomo pipes this article in and he says, Jehovah's Witnesses demand money from Norway for the years they were denied government subsidies before they lost their religious registration. A trial is set for January 2024 for JW's lawsuit against the Norwegian. So right now uh, they filed and they're demanding in Norwegian money 35 million in state subsidies for this year. So you tell me this is, an, is not about money. This is a big business that's having financial trouble. And if they lose in Norway, this can be a domino effect and go all the way around the world. They're already being looked at harshly in New Zealand. They lost the abuse and care. Australia, the original uh, Royal Commission, they sucked there they, and they exposed themselves. We're not the only religion. We're not the only ones. You know, Jackson sunk himself there. And all over the world, in Japan, the second generation, children are investigating and looking into the Watchtower uh, news. Uh, in the UK, they're up all over the place in the courts. They're being trialed. And the Supreme Courts don't care anymore. They're not, they're denying them even hearings. That's where the courts are in the country. They're denying this religion the right to even be heard any longer because it's turning out to be a real cult. So there we have the rest of the story. Well, folks, stay with us and we will keep you posted on the next news updates on Norway. I don't think there should be any until January, but who knows? Uh, JW Org, they've just canvassed for a bunch of lawyers and uh, maybe within they can keep fighting these battles. Now I wanted to look at one thing just as a, a bonus part here and we're going to go to uh, their JW Org site. Now I was talking about judging and when you look at their site on judging, I just plugged it in, is there a time to judge? And they talk about Matthew, you know, where Jesus said, uh, stop judging. They quote the one verse. Uh, we will read the whole chapter here on another day. And um, then they go on to say, the Bible definitely indicates that within the congregation of God's devoted people, situations arise that require passing judgment. For example, elders may be called upon to judge fellow believers who become involved in serious wrongdoing. And then they Go to Corinthians to list that out. And they must determine whether such wrongdoers are truly repentant and desirous of living in harmony with Bible principles. So the elders are the judges. And in case of unrepentant ones, elders must follow through on scriptural command, remove the wicked man from among yourselves. So you see, folks, this is why Norway wants to cancel this as a religion, because it's not a religion. So let's look at what the Bible says about judging. We're just going to go over to this screen. We just plugged in judge. And Ecclesiastes 12 and 14 says, For God will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing, whether good or evil. Now, we're coming back and we're looking at how God is going to judge the watchtower. How God is going to judge those nine men that are controlling the watchtower. God will bring every deed into judgment and every secret thing, whether good or evil. Now, how is God going to do that? Well, Matthew 7, 1-2 says, 
Judge not that you may not be judged, for with the judgment you pronounce, you will get back. So with the, the judgment that Watchtower has done, it's kicked people out, it's shunned people, it's going to get that same type of judgment back. According to this scripture, if, if you believe in these scriptures, I do. And it says, and with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Matthew talks about that. You see, Watchtower doesn't talk about that. And they don't apply it to themselves. They apply it to everyone else out there. And it's okay, they say, for us to judge. We'll use our body of elders. They're our judge. Now, Romans goes on to say, uh, why do you pass judgment on your brother? Or you, why do you despise your brother? For we all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to God. Now, John 7 and 24 says, do not judge by appearances, but judge with the right judgment. So we don't want to look at people for skin color, clothing color. Do they have a tablet? Do they not have a tablet? You see, that's what goes on in the congregations. Now, Hebrews goes on, it says, we know him who said, vengeance is mine. The Lord will judge his people, it says. So now, all through the Bible, it talks, this is, this is the kind of uh, thing that it talks about when it comes to judging. So, yes, two other scriptures here. John, it says, uh, for as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Talking about Jesus Christ. So uh, for most of us, we know that's what the Bible says. Now here's an interesting part. In Romans chapter 13 and verse 1 here, it says, Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. You know, the governments that, that, that are over the lands, right? So it says there, For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. So now we're going to open up that scripture and see what it says here. Okay, so we have that opened up. And it says, let every person be subject. Now in verse 2 it says, therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed. And those who resist will incur judgment. For the rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? Then do what is good and you will receive his approval. You see, these rulers in Norway, as it says here, these are rulers, they're not a terror, terror to good, but, but to bad things. You see, they're after the bad things, the shunning, the hiding of pedophilia within the congregations. This is the problem the governments have with this religion. This religion obstructs justice, obstructs crime, hides criminal activity. That's why these authorities are acting on behalf of God to pass judgment. So folks, the watchtower is really fighting against God. And it's no wonder that they're losing appeal after appeal after appeal. And the high courts of the land all over the earth are denying the watchtower they're hearing. God is done. God's done with this type of religion. That's my opinion. Well, folks, that brings a close to our program. And uh, for us, for you and me, the common person that's just on the sidelines watching all of this take place, we're just going to do what we ought to be doing. Just keep being good to our neighbors and helping people along the way and showing love. Isn't that what counts? So folks, until next time, keep living your day with love. Bye for now. Oh, hello. My name is Vern. Join the channel. We cover JW World News and we give you the rest of the story. Today, we're going to the Watchtower. And we have lives on Tuesday nights and Saturdays and an excellent community. So join the channel and watch as we crash into the Watchtower. Here it is. I see it coming. Woo! Join us as we report in on the 
Watchtower.